In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to integrate Clubhouse with an existing Rollbar project. So before we get into that, let's make sure we level set and talk about a few assumptions we're going to make before we start. Number one, we're going to assume you have an existing Rollbar project that's actually received errors. And secondly, we're assuming that you have an existing Clubhouse account that's already been integrated with Rollbar. So let's go ahead and jump into the product. As you can see here, we have our Rollbar project that's recently generated some errors. Let's go ahead and click on Settings. And I'm going to go down here and pick my project again. So it's Clubhouse Demo. And under Integrations, I'm going to go ahead and select Notifications. And the next thing I want to do to enable, we want to enable Clubhouse, so we're going to go ahead and click on Clubhouse. Okay, so here at the very top, um, you're going to need to specify your API token. If you have not integrated um, with Clubhouse, it'll kind of walk you through the steps to do that. You log in and generate an API token in Clubhouse. It takes a few minutes. So let's go ahead and put in some specific information for the context of our specific demo here. So we're going to go ahead and set this to accepted, in progress, and completed. And we're going to click enable. Clubhouse integration. So this is going to go ahead and get this set up for us. And now what we can do is we can click test notification. And if we go in here and we do test notification, we'll see that it actually created a story for us here in Clubhouse. So this is a great indication that, that things are working. So let's go back over and look at our specific integration. So I want to click on one of these are all the default rules that are created. Okay, as you can see here, we can create additional rules, but I'm going to go ahead and click and edit one of the existing rules. So if I can make these rules as specific or as, I can get as granular as I want. So if I wanted to add, say, I'm only interested in environment production and where the level is critical and maybe the file name is, you know, test and the method is also a test. So I can get as specific as I want, so I'm not going to be blasting Clubhouse and creating a lot of unnecessary tasks and stories. So I'm not going to save these changes, but I just wanted to point that out. So let's go ahead and look at the way these are set up. So we've generated some specific issues here. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to resolve these because the way our uh, integration is set up. Any uh, reactivated item is going to generate uh, a new error, a new um, task in Clubhouse. It's going to generate, create an object in Clubhouse for us. So we're going to go ahead and generate some new errors with our application. And let's go ahead and bring up our emulator. Okay, we can see that the app crashed. So now if we go back to Rollbar here, we see that we actually have some new reactivated items. So if I go in here, I can click on one of these particular items. And you notice since we have Clubhouse integrated, we can go ahead and see, we can click on this, we can say create Clubhouse story, okay? So now I can view the Clubhouse story all within the context of Rollbar. So you might be asking, you know, what would the benefits be? Well, you just saw it. If I didn't have this integration, I'd have to context switch between the Clubhouse GUI and then the Rollbar GUI and cut and paste things in there. But you can see here, we just generated um, a specific item here in Clubhouse. So th this was the exception that was generated. And if we scroll down here, we can see these were some of our default things that we set up when we created the integration. We can see that it's been accepted. And then this will take me right back to the item uh, in Rollbar, okay? So I, the other thing I can do if I wanted to, I could link to a different Clubhouse story or I could essentially unlink this to a Clubhouse story. So a lot of different options there. Hopefully this gave you some insight into how to integrate an existing project with Clubhouse and the benefits of doing that. Feel free to reach out if you have additional questions.